what are things I can do to reduce my risk for developing coronary artery disease? It's very important that you take an ownership role in your own health. And the things that you do that are really important to keeping your heart healthy and keeping you alive in the long run, first and foremost, exercise every day. We don't have a pill to take care of that. If we did, we probably wouldn't have to work as doctors. You need to exercise most days of the week, at least five, preferably six, maybe even seven. But it doesn't have to be a huge strenuous effort, just moderate exercise, like getting out for a walk, at least walking two miles a day. Get a dog, ideally, I tell people, get a dog. Then you feel obligated to get out and walk with your dog, and, uh, and that, that's very important. Secondly, don't smoke. We, don't have a hard, we have a hard time keeping people healthy if they insist on smoking. It's an incredibly addictive habit, and it's difficult to get off, but your life depends upon it. You can't smoke if, you're, if you want to stay healthy from the heart standpoint. Thirdly, you got to eat right. Now, granted, even if you eat perfectly right, you still probably have to take something like a statin to keep your cholesterol down, or maybe take the supplements we talked about, like cardio-T or cardiosterol. But you have to eat a healthy diet for a lot of reasons. You can't stay healthy without having the fruits and vegetables and the lean protein and the nuts and berries and tea and water in your diet. You have to do it. It's very important to prioritize that. And then the other thing you need to do is you have to take, most of you have to take a baby aspirin a day, 81 milligrams, unless you have some bleeding tendencies or you're taking a blood thinner like Coumadin. And preferably also take two or three capsules of an omega-3 supplement. In essence, those are the short list of things that you need to do to really help improve your survival. A couple other sort of optional things, we're finding out that one drink a day, up to two drinks a day for men, can help to reduce risk of heart attack and other cardiovascular abnormalities. Uh, red wine is probably best, uh, but as long as it's moderate amount of alcohol, any alcohol is better than none. And of course, too much alcohol is worst of all. So we have to be sure that it'll be moderate intake of alcohol, but modest amounts can be very good for your health.